G'day, my name is Ian Castle and welcome to episode four of my video series, Ask Aussie, where I answer questions sent in by my subscribers. This question comes from BB Bassey. I think I said that right. I'd love to know how to keep my voice moisturized and avoid strain. Great questions, BB. Your voice is obviously a part of your body and its systems. So in terms of hydrating your voice, we need to focus first on the moisture or hydration needs of your body. It is recommended that you drink two liters or eight ounces of water per day. Drinking helps maintain the balance of body fluids. Your body is composed of about 60% water. The functions of these bodily fluids include digestion, absorption, circulation, creation of saliva, transportation of nutrients, and maintenance of body temperature. Your body apparatus is made up of muscles. Muscles need water. If your body is dehydrated, your muscles will be deprived of electrolytes and cramp. Think about singing as an athletic sport. If a long distance runner is dehydrated, the muscles in their legs will eventually cramp. As singers, we are using our vocal muscles in an athletic way. So you can see why water intake is essential for singing. Drinking water is not the only way to hydrate your body. Fruits and vegetables contain high amounts of water. So make sure your diet contains plenty of these healthy foods. Not only will they help keep you hydrated, but they will also nourish your body to prevent illness. So water, fruit and vegetables are a great way to hydrate your body. However, there are liquids and foods that you should avoid as they will do the opposite and dehydrate you. Foods which are processed and high in sugar are dehydrating. Your body uses a lot of water to break down sugar. You want to limit high GI foods and consume lower GI foods and complex carbohydrates. As a singer, you should avoid alcohol 24 hours before you sing. The reason is alcohol causes your body to lose water. It is a, it is a diuretic, a substance that increases urine output. If you suffer from a dry throat, there are ways to add some moisture to your throat and the vocal cords. Inhaling steam is a quick and effective way to give the cords some moisture. You may think that sipping some water would do the same thing. However, when we drink, the epiglottis covers up the entrance to the larynx to prevent choking. When we breathe in, the epiglottis opens up. So inhaling steam allows us to add moisture to the larynx. You can also use a vocal spray like Entertainer's Secret to achieve the same result. So to recap, here is the singer's hydration checklist. Number one, drink two liters of water every day. Number two, eat plenty of fruit and vegetables. Number three, limit processed foods that are high in sugar. Number four, avoid alcohol 24 hours before you sing. Number five, inhale steam before and after prolonged singing. And number six, use a vocal spray for a quick hit of moisture. Now I hope that helps you, BB. I'm going to cover avoiding strain in the next video as it relates to another Ask Aussie question. If anyone else would like me to record a video on a specific topic, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel as I will post a message asking for your ideas weekly. Now, if you got some value out of this lesson, please hit the like button and leave me a comment below. Bye for now. If you'd like to take your singing to the next level with me as your vocal coach, head over to aussievocalcoach.com where you can sign up for my free beginner and advanced vocal routines, or you can check out my vocal programs and personal coaching.